Hey guys, it's Nail Polish Rocks back and I'm here to show you guys such a cool video. I was inspired by a mermaid look. Um, they were inspired by nails that Peacock Pie did. I'll link that down below. So I did a mermaid inspired look and it was so, so cool. I absolutely loved it. It sucked that I needed to leave the house so I had to take off most of the cool stuff. Before I filmed, I used my Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation in the shade number 7. Then I just used my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Natural just to conceal some sections and I used a Maybelline Translucent Powder. Um, so first off, I used the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. Um, it's kind of in like a really sparkly white. It comes off more silvery on your eye though, like more like an iridescent silver. So I just applied that quite heavily over my eyelid. And just applied it and applied it on the other eye too. And then next I used my color tattoo in the shade Blue On By, and this is by Maybelline, and I just applied that again, just using my finger, I applied that all over my eye quite heavily, just on my eyelid. And I did the other eye, obviously exactly the same. Uh, I couldn't get them the same, so, I just had to go back in and try and fix it up. There we go. And then next I used my Maybelline Eye Studio Smoky Glam. Um, and this is in like a turquoise kind of color. And I just applied, used the turquoisey color and I applied that over the color tattoo. Oh, this is called Turquoise Glamour. There we go. And I just applied that quite heavily again over the eye. And then next I used my, probably one of my favorite palettes, the BYS um, eyeshadow. It's in the limited edition neons and I just used the purple from the bottom section and I applied that quite heavily again, just above the blue or the turquoise. Um, I didn't blend them at all yet. I just applied them quite heavily. There we go, and next I used the Maybelline Eye Studio in the compact pink punch, and I used the pinkest shade in the collect in the like the big compact thing, and I applied that in between the purple and the blue to help blend them together, and then again I applied them just above the purple to kind of blend it out. I kind of went over the purple as well just to soften it up a bit. Then next I used also one of my favorite nude palettes, L'Oreal. It's in the compact landscape passage and I used shade number one and I just blended that, kind of used that to blend the purple into my kind of skin area. Again, this is inspired by nails that Peacock Pie did. Um, like I said, I'll link them down below and I think she was inspired by a look handmade by Kylie did. So yeah, I'll link them both down below. So I've just blended that out nicely and it kind of just freshens it up. And then I'm going back in with my Neon Limited Edition by BYS and I'm using the Neon Pink. You can't really see it in this light, unfortunately, but it is a Neon Pink. And I'm just going to apply that in my crease, in pretty much just above the blue, kind of below the purple. And that'll just kind of let it pop a little bit more. I also applied that quite heavily. Then next I used the pink from LA Colors. It's their shimmering loose powder. It's in the shade Sweet Tart. And it's quite a cute name, Sweet Tart. Um, and I just applied that over the pink. And then I went back in with my Maybelline Turquoise Glamour Studio Glam Eye Studio. And I applied that in the inner corner on my lower lash line. And then I used the neon pink, which again, you can't really see in this light, um, from the BYS palette, and I applied that on the outer corner of my lower lash line. This kind of just brings the eyeshadow back down to the bottom, so it just blends it all together nicely. And 
and then I went back in with the Maybelline Eye Studio pink punch and I used the really lightest pink shade um, and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone so I'm gonna go quite heavily on this because I do want it to be quite drastic um, it's really shimmery um, so I'm kind of freaking out because I'm going to do a purple um, purple eyebrows pretty much um, and like I said I'm kind of freaking out but I'm gonna give it a go and see what happens I used the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Coolest Chic and then I just used a brush to kind of blend it out because because it's um, an eyeliner it is a lot kind of thicker than an eyebrow pencil so I just blended it out like that and it kind of looks pretty cool it doesn't really look too purple in this light but trust me it was purple then I'm going back in with my um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Natural and I'm just gonna kind of clean up under my eye because I had a little bit of eyeshadow fallout I probably should have done my eyes first but oh well and just dab that out just to blend it out then I'm using my Revlon um, photo ready pencil it's in the shade what is this carbon Cleopatra and I'm just doing my waterline and then inside my tight line and then also just on the outer corner of the eye just to add some depth and I am going to use my Essence Crystal Eyeliner in the shade Twinkly Starlight. My brush is a bit messed up, which is really annoying because it does make it quite difficult to apply. I should just get a new one, but oh well. And I'm just applying that pretty much where I would apply normal eyeliner. I'm using my Maybelline Great Lash, um, uh, stupid hair on my eye, Great Lash Mascara, and I'm going to apply that pretty much on my eyelashes, obviously. Ah, uh, again, stupid hair. Blech. So annoying. There you go, so I did my rest of my mascara off camera, just because there was no point in it. Um, yeah, so I did that off camera and I'm totally loving where this is going. I don't know what else I'm going to do. Um, these are kind of my thinking hands. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm using the, figured out that I'm going to use the Lola blusher. It just says number three on the back of it. I don't know what shade it is. It is quite pink, like quite neon pink. And I'm going to contour my face with that. It's pretty much on my cheekbone and just um, kind of around my hairline as well. And then I'm using the purple from the BYS Neons collection again. And again, just contouring my cheekbones with that. You really wouldn't want to leave the house like this unless you were doing like a fancy dress Halloween thing which I think I might do this year um, and then I'm just using normal eyelash glue and I'm going to apply that on my cheekbone just on one side of my face you could do this to both um, this is kind of going to give the impression of scales I'm going to apply some sequins over there and then I'm also going to use my LA color shimmering loose eyeshadow in the shade grape jelly and applying that all over kind of where I stuck the glue as well so again, this kind of just makes it look a little bit more mermaidy. And then I'm using the clean color lip liner in the shade Barbie Pink, and I'm just gonna line my lips with that. And then I'm using the pink peony, I think it's what it's called, in Maybelline for my lips. Um, it's just like a really metallic-y shimmery pink. Um, I wasn't overly a fan of this. I like it, but not really for this look. So I went over it with something else which was the Rimmel Rose Sorbet lipstick which yeah it was good it was good to leave the house kind of if I was gonna leave the house you could maybe do it with that but I wanted to take it a step further so I took my color tattoo eye studio in the shade blue on by and I just dabbed that all over my lips to kind of give it like a cold watery look to blend in with this whole mermaid inspired thing and I actually really liked it so it just kind of gave off like an iridescent purple so I went and curled my hair a bit and pinned it up pinned it away from my face so you could see the sequins a bit better and I absolutely love this look so yeah I love it and it really matches my nails which are kind of like a purpley blue which I'll again post more photos on my blog which I will link below as well um, 
yeah, let me know what you guys think of it and if any of you would wear it or were interested in wearing it for maybe a Halloween outfit or something. Um, yeah, I had to leave the house so I kind of took off the sequins around the side and changed the lipstick, which I will post some photos of right now. Um, and that just made it a lot more kind of everyday wear and yeah, I really, really like it. I'd probably wear this look again sometime. So I'll see you guys soon. Um, give the video a thumbs up, if, th th thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye.